you doubt. It's going to happen for you. The world calls that manipulation. God says, speak things that are not as though they are. The world calls it manifestation, all that kind of stuff. No, speak things that are not as though they are. You speak it, but you have to also believe it. As you think, so will you be. So you can speak, I'm a millionaire. I'm financially free and I'm beautiful. But as you think, so is he. So if you're saying I'm beautiful, but you believe that you're ugly, then that's what you're going to be. If you're saying I'm going to get married and my husband is going to love me and I'm going to be a good wife, but you believe that you're not worthy. You believe that all men are trash and that's what it's going to be. Your mindset forms what your reality is. Your mindset forms what, what, what your life looks like. It's your fault. It's our fault. It's God gave us more power than what you think. Free will is way more power than what you think. It's way more power than what you think. Free will is not just being allowed to have sex, being allowed to sin, and being allowed to drink, smoke weed. That's not all what free will is. Free will is being able to bless yourself with your lips. Bless yourself with your tongue. Bless yourself with, with your mind and with your heart. And, 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 and putting all those, if you put your mouth, your mind, and your heart into agreement, anything that you speak going to happen for you. I promise you. And that's the formula of faith. Because once you believe it, and once you believe it in your heart, and once you speak it, your life has to mold and change and form into what it is that you just spoke. And so once your life molds and changes and forms, you're going to receive opportunities or you're going to, yeah, you're going to receive opportunities that look like the direction that you're going in which the, from the words that you spoke. Once you speak something, Ask God to renew your mind to believe it. Because as a man think of, so is he. And out of the abundance of a heart, the mouth speaks. So the first step is, God, I need you to clean my heart. I need you to circumcise my heart. The second step is ask God to renew your mind so you can believe what you speak. And the third step is to speak. And then once you speak it, your life has to mold and form into what you're speaking because you believe it here and here. And you've already spoken it. You've already followed the law of free will. You already followed the law of life and death in your tongue. And once your life molds around what you just said, you have to be open to opportunities and doors have to open and windows have to open to what it is that you spoke because your life had to mold to what you spoke. Don't just say it if you don't believe it. If you're going to pray, it ain't no need to worry. And if you're going to worry, it ain't no need to pray and pick your poison. Pick your pick, pick one, pick, pick which one. Cause I don't want to call praying poison. Pick which side you want to be on. You want to be worried or you want to be, um, 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 a winner. Okay, you want to be stressed or you want to be victorious? You want to be afraid or you want to be faithful? A curse without a cause cannot stand, and sometimes it's you cursing yourself. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. My feet are hurting because I'm sitting on my feet so that y'all can see me. <laughs> um, I saw somebody in my comments say that they want me to be their personal preacher. I am um, going to start back doing mentoring next month on, on august 1st so ah my feet oh my god thank you jesus that hurts so bad Woo! so if you would like to join my mentorship um i was a mentorship before but then things happen in life i had to mature and god had to prune me and cut and cut things off of me if you would like to um join that mentorship then i want you to email me my email is going to be in the description down below i want you to email me your name I want you to email me the, your cash app so I know who you are when you cash out me because the mentorship is $45 a month, $45 every month. I want you to email me your um, name, your cash app, and I want you to tell me what you need mentorship for because I'm not doing this to be your friend. I'm not doing this to be your buddy. I'm not doing this so that we can be besties. I'm doing this to help you progress in your walk with Christ. If you want to be my friend and you want to use this as an excuse to get close to me, I'm not going to mentor you and I'm going to be able to read in between that, okay? So if you don't have a cause or a reason as to why you want me to be your mentor, I will not mentor you. It's that simple, okay? Um um what else do i want to say if you would like to sew into the ministry my cash app will be down below as well um i'm gonna gabby i'm gonna make you a moderator so you can start typing my stuff for me um because i need my moderators to start to start typing my cash up into the chat um but for now i'm just gonna put it in the comments and in the bio um and yeah, I think that that wraps up everything I want to say. I love you guys so very much. Um, the mentorship will be every Wednesday. So I have to see when the first is. The first of the month is when like all payments are like, I'm done accepting payments. 